Good morning, everyone. Our scripture from this past week was from Isaiah 61, and I've been thinking about it um, as we've moved through this week and um, fed more people. Um, probably our numbers are up higher and higher than ever before, but it sat with me um, in a special way. In um, Isaiah 61, the prophet says, The Lord God's Spirit is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the poor, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim release for his captives and liberation for prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and vindications for our God, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for Zion's mourners, and to give them a crown in place of ashes, oil of joy in place of mourning, and a mantle of praise. The word of God for the people of God on this Friday morning. And we all say thanks be to God. Amen. So it's interesting because as Chad reminded us and as we know from from being um, in, in scripture and in worship, um, many of us for most of our lives, we realize that this is what Jesus proclaimed when he preached for the first time as a young man in the temple. That, that these words, these prophecies had come true. That he is the anointed one who has... Um, come to bring good news to the poor and to bind up the brokenhearted and to proclaim release to the captives and to be with those who mourn. That he will be the one through his, his life and his miracles and his teaching, but also his death and his resurrection, who will um, then and when he comes again be the one to give us a crown in place of our ashes, an oil of joy in place of mourning, and a mantle of praise. It's a beautiful gift. It's, a, it's an understanding of re resurrection that is to come, but also resurrection um, for us now. It's the, the gift of, as we wait between his coming the first time and his coming yet again in the coming of the kingdom of God, we, uh, we are left in that hope that when God's kingdom comes and Christ comes again, or we rest from our labors, that, that we will be healed, that the places of brokenness will be restored, not just physically in resurrection, but, but also emotionally and spiritually, mm -hmm. that in our dried and broken and cracked places, there will be oils that, that fill us, that in the place of of where we have sat in ashes and grief, there will be crowns of glory and a mantle about shoulders. But what do we do in between? In between waiting uh, and celebrating what, when he came the first time and what will come again, what do we do? How do we wait? And I thought about it a lot as this morning on CNN, we heard the story again of of what's happening with the layoffs and um, food banks being cut off um, from federal aid. And and in the midst of that story being told on CNN, there were St. Lucas. <laughs> um, it was all filmed in our parking lot as St. Lucas and, and entertainment in our community came together to stand in the gap, not taking any credit, our name was never mentioned, but there we were binding up the brokenhearted with joy and entertainment and music in the midst of the season, by, by offering release to those who are captive in the loss of poverty right now and struggling to make ends meet, by offering food um, and a smile. You see, until Christ comes again, until we find resurrection, and until the kingdom is on earth as it is in heaven, there is us. We are the ones. We are the ones that are anointed into baptism with Jesus Christ, called to bring good news to the poor, to release the captive, to bind up the brokenhearted, to give people a crown instead of ashes and, and oil um, to be about their lives, soothing in the broken cracks. And to me, that is the work of incarnation. So today, uh, I know I don't always give you a lot of time to just sit and rest in the word, but I invite you to, to do what my dad said, sit and rest in the word and then get up and move in the word and be action and be the anointing that people need today, the incarnation that someone needs to see, the healing, the healing.
the healing that people are waiting for, may it be in your actions, in your words, in your smiles, in your joy, so that people might see Christ be born through you.